Aloha. Good morning. This is Karambi Davis of Karambi Realty International. How are you all this morning? Happy Friday. Aloha Friday. And it's a big weekend for a lot of people, the 4th of July. And I know personally myself is I'm going to take some time off on Monday. Um, we've been very busy. It's an extremely busy market right now. And, you know, I wanted to take this time um, on our episode today just to talk about you know, what's going on, how we're pricing homes, given the current um, economics of our economy here. And, um, you know, first of all, yes, there's definitely a shift in the paper, uh, sorry, a shift in the market. And, you know, but it's positive. I, I don't see it being negative. And it's, it's quite interesting. I was out the other evening and someone said, oh, how are you doing? Aren't you scared with all the inflation and interest rates rising and the recession? But like we found through COVID, we learned to pivot. <laughs> and, you know, a lot of our inflation is due to um, Paul Brubaker, who's a local economist here in town, mentioned that a lot of our inflation is, is due to supply chain ch interruptions and when you think about it you know you know like cars right now or even here living on Oahu appliances someone just told me today it's one year wait for a sub-zero fridge so there's definitely sub supply change interruptions and so you know how do we work around this so let's take the first item, which is very ob obvious, is the interest rates going up. Yes, they're making a substantial uh, difference to people's payments per month. So uh, I did some number crunching the other day. If you take a $1 million loan, the difference with the mortgage payment today versus a few months ago is about 1400 to 1700 a month. So you put that on a $3 million home and someone someone's payment's going to be three to 4,000 more a month. So yes, that will affect the market. But again, there's other um, loan programs out there where you can get a fixed mortgage for five or seven years. And usually they're generally low, lower. And I find in these turbulent times, people will go to a five or seven year arm versus a 30 year fixed mortgage. So we learn to pivot as we did very well during COVID. Uh, we're definitely seeing more price reductions. Does that mean the market's going down? No, it doesn't. Uh, what that means is, you know, we, we're becoming to be a little more normal market, actually. Uh, you know, I would say for the last six months, we would look at a list price and then we would actually increase it by three to four percent, knowing the market was going up. Right now, I believe the market is stable uh, with some certain homes. Yes, the price does need to adjust, but that's other factors than the economy. And we'll discuss that in a moment. Um, you know, buyers are definitely more conservative. Without question, um, people are taking the time to think through versus I have to have this house today. So there's some of the changes we are seeing on a daily basis um, that I wanted to share with you. And, you know, what is the current market conditions right now in the luxury market? Well, guess what? Still a shortage of properties. Um, I just was the other day looking at a price range of 2.5 to about 4 million, um, pricing a home that we have coming up on the market on East Oahu. And there was only 20 properties on the market, say from Kaimoki all the way out to Hawaii Kai. And then if I don't include Hawaii Kai, there was only 15 markets in, say, the town area in East Oahu. So we're still having an issue with supply and demand. Um, there's still record breaking prices um, being sold and closed in escrow this week. There was a home on Kalakaua Avenue on the ocean front that just sold for about uh, 10.4 million. And we've never had a home sell that high on Kalakaua Avenue. So there are still some record breaking prices right now happening also. So where should I price my home? I mean, you know, you're hearing negative news, you're hearing record breaking prices. Are you hearing shortage of inventory? It's very, very confusing for one um, to figure this out. And that's why, you know, working with a seasoned realtor um, like myself and my colleagues, actually, in other companies, there's a group of us that have been doing this a long time. And we have a very clear way of simplifying it for our clients. And, you know, the first thing we have to look at is, you know, the profile of the buyer. Who's going, who likely will buy this property and how much will they pay for this property? And there's so many, um, ways we can look at that angle so some of the factors that people will take into consideration what they're looking for is you know do, do, does it have a large yard is there a swimming pool is there a two plus car garage the condition of the home the views from the home 
the paint, the flooring, the um, roof, is it new or old? The kitchen has it been remodeled, the bathrooms. And a big um, modernization, of course, now is the PV. Of course, everyone um, can appreciate that with the cost of electricity right now. So there are some of the factors that definitely go into pricing a home compared to other homes. Also, another factor is, uh, is it a cash buyer? You know, is it a buyer who doesn't have to rely on the interest rate? So that might be very relevant. And like I mentioned, the oceanfront home the other day, that was a cash buyer. They didn't have to worry about paying so much per month uh, for a home given the current interest rates. And just on a side note on the interest rates, uh, Paul Brubaker, who's a local economist, again mentioned in his talk yesterday that he does anticipate the interest rates coming down a little bit just to adjust because I think it's been a bit of a shock for all of us that they have gone up. And even though it's a great rate, they're way higher than they were, say, uh, six months, a year ago. Um, one thing I wanted to mention, what I, I've recently seen is, you know, between the period of October 2021 to May 2022, without question, I saw a lot of homes sell for probably some of the highest prices I've ever seen. And, you know, I think some people were getting in with the lower rates before they went up. But I'm wondering, and we'll have to see, but I'm wondering whether that period of homes selling in that period, then they may be comparables we can't use because we are definitely getting into a a flatter market, but are we or aren't we? Because the, uh, there's a shortage of inventory. It depends on the home. And um, I was talking to a couple of our realtors who do business out in the Kapolei area, and they're still getting multiple offers on everything out there. So we'll have to wait and see. Uh, another uh, factor to look at is, you know, very much so is, you know, will this price stay or not? And when I'm looking at all these luxury prices, I'm going, could I build the home for that value? How much is the land value? These are all factors we go into um, when we price a home. So it's not, it's not a set formula. It's not like, well, my neighbor got this price. I should be able to get this because my home's better. There really is a science to pricing. And I, I say this to all my clients and it's very important to trust your real estate advisor um, definitely talk around the different homes, stay unemotionally involved in the process and really take a good hard look on truly what it will take and what price it will take to get um, top dollar in today's market. And top dollar is actually coming on at a very sharp list price. Uh, so my philosophy with pricing right now is make sure that list price is very sharp and no fluff in it right now because you will sit on the market for a while. Anyway, moving on, so we can have um, celebrate uh, the 4th of July. Marianne, again, always brings beautiful photos. Very simply put, happy 4th of July, everybody. So she's given us some fireworks to remember that 4th of July is near, near coming on Monday. And I wish you all a happy 4th of July. Much mahalo, Karan.